Recently, Elon Musk unveiled the revolutionary new 9,000-ton IDRA Giga Casting Machine. Did you know that Elon Musk is also working on the IDRA project, which has the potential to significantly change manufacturing? Elon Musk is well known for being the visionary CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. Nothing in the world compares to this enormous machine, which could change the way we build everything from cars to buildings. How big is this monstrous machine, and does it live up to its name? Giga Press The secret weapon of Tesla Motors Tesla has invested heavily and will continue to invest heavily in its Giga factory. But do these enormous machines provide a competitive advantage? And if so, how much? Check out this video to learn more about IDRA's operations and the potential implications for manufacturing in the future. But before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell button for the latest Elon Musk news. Now let's get started. The Gigapress, the largest die-casting machine currently in use, is made by the Italian manufacturing company Hydra. And from what we've heard, Tesla has been a long-time customer. It shouldn't be surprising to find Gigapresses in Tesla plants given the company's reputation for taking on ambitious projects. They have dimensions of 20 meters by 7 and a half meters by 6 meters. The Gigapress, which has a 61 kiloton clamping force capacity, is the most powerful die casting machine ever made. It weighs more than 400 tons and requires more than 20 flatbed trucks to transport just one. Additionally, only Hydra and LK Group are currently producing these devices, and Tesla was the first company to order a Gigapress as a result. Many people in the die casting industry have been looking forward to seeing the largest die casting machine in the world in action. Tesla was the first company to order a Gigapress. The Monica Gigapress was first proposed by Ricardo Ferrario, general manager of the Hydra Group, in the latter part of 2018. To prepare for Fremont's die casting machine, Tesla submitted construction work permit applications around the end of July 2020. By September 2020, the Model Y single piece rear casting was being produced in trial runs on the first Gigapress at Fremont, which had also been installed. According to Jerome Gilly, Tesla didn't begin using a modified OL6100CS Gigapress for manufacturing until the end of 2020. In order to build full-size cars in the same way that tiny cars are built in 2019, the industry is building a massive, enormous machine. The Tesla Gigapress is more of a die-casting system than a tool because it is outfitted with all the equipment and systems needed for die-casting. Two sets of ovens in the Tesla Gigapress handle the aluminum alloy that makes up its parts. One oven is used to contain liquid metal that has been electronically heated to a temperature of 750 to 850 degrees Celsius. The operation of the Gigapress can be broken down using the following steps. Before the aluminum ingots and cutoffs for casting, must be melted in an oven to 850 degrees Celsius. Using the Gigapress Tesla builds the vehicle's chassis as a single piece. This means that the automaker only deals with a maximum of three pieces, similar to how the auto industry has historically operated, as opposed to dealing with a hundred additional parts if it had been practiced to bolt and weld things together. Tesla might have thought about the benefits before choosing Gigapresses because they require a sizable financial investment and installation area. The only locations where the Gigafactory is being built or is planned to be built are the three Gigafactories in Shanghai and the Vermont-based Tesla factory. Gigapress is unquestionably a game-changer for the automotive industry. The first two Gigapresses were shipped from Berlin and Texas to Tesla's factory, where they were installed as part of the preliminary work leading up to the start of the DCM1 assembly process in May 2020. Tesla had a number of licenses from the city of Vermont to erect the required DCM-1 housing facilities. By August 2020, the DCM-1 facility's development was largely finished, and by September 2020, the DCM-2 facility had also been finished. Tesla then tested the use of the first Gigapress to cast the Model Y's rear chassis in a single piece. On May 11, 2020, one of the Gigapresses at the Vermont factory caught fire while being used, posing a problem, according to the fire department. Although it wasn't a serious issue, Molten metal and hydraulic fluid caused the fire. No one was hurt. Megacasting may raise a number of issues, all of which should be considered, but as technology advances, these problems will also be resolved. To its Gigafactory 3 facility in Shanghai, Tesla added three more Gigapresses. Preparatory work began toward the end of 2019 and was completed by October 2020. Tesla began building the Giga Berlin, which will house eight 6,000-ton Gigapresses, in July 2020. LK Machinery developed the Gigapresses at Giga Shanghai under the name Impress Plus DCC6000. Let's examine a few Megapress benefits. The manufacturing efficiency of large and complex objects will significantly increase thanks to the Gigapress. Manufacturers will be able to cast a single, large component rather than several smaller ones thanks to the Gigapress. By casting it in a larger single piece, the manufacturer will be able to produce a lightweight framework and increase the casting strength. Additionally, by casting a single opponent, the risk of alignment issues with the parts during assembly would also be removed, which would simplify quality control and all related tasks. 
As a result, there are significant labor and time savings, which will also lower production costs. The body shop size will also be drastically reduced, which will free up less space for robot manufacturing. At the moment, it appears that the Gigapress is primarily used to create castings for automobiles. Automobiles are composed of numerous small parts and have a complicated structure. The manufacturing process would become much more efficient if only a few castings were produced. Using the Gigapress Tesla is casting the Model Y's rear body structure, which will result in the creation of a single item from 70 casting components. The Gigapress will also be used to cast the front chassis parts. Since this technology is still relatively new, it may take some time before we see more applications for it, but we anticipate seeing the Gigapress used in many more inventive ways across a wide range of industries. This has undoubtedly changed how we will view the current production processes. Megacasting is undoubtedly a fascinating concept, but many people are still unsure of the technique's viability. Since this is a new technology, there is still a lot of research to be done regarding the efficiency, expense stability, and dependability of the Gigapress when it comes to embracing a novel concept. The business community has never been optimistic about the massive casting trend. Because of this, it might take some time for other manufacturers to adopt Tesla's limited information. Tesla has successfully produced the Model Y rear chassis in test runs. And while it is undeniable that they underwent numerous adjustments to get there, the design process for the mega casting could become simpler as manufacturers gain a better understanding of the method. However, since we are dealing with that much metal at once, we must exercise extra caution. Although Tesla is not the first automaker to do so, BMW and Audi have both used their castings in their vehicle. Nobody has attempted to do it on the scale that Tesla has, so it is unclear how the rest of the industry will try to catch up. Tesla may be able to maintain its competitive edge for some time. According to JP Morgan, who also thinks that because they are adaptable enough to change, only new business owners will be able to replicate Tesla's success in this field. To catch up to Tesla, other automakers are reportedly considering getting their own Giga Presses, but there is still a long way to go. Elon Musk asserts that the new 9,000-ton Giga Press has arrived in Giga and will be used to build the Cybertrucks by. Why is Tesla transporting a massive 9,000-ton press to its Asian facility from Texas after undergoing demanding testing at the Idris facility in Italy? Professionals from Tesla are currently installing the component in preparation for the start of the production of Cybertrucks. Tesla is currently significantly increasing its production capacity. The electric vehicle manufacturer plans to produce 20 million vehicles annually by 2030. All things considered, it appears that Elon Musk and Idra have recently fulfilled their promise to revolutionize the automotive industry. With the Gigapress now operational, we may soon anticipate the mass manufacture of more affordable electric vehicles, and everyone will be happy about that, perhaps with the exception of the oil companies. Tesla must first streamline its manufacturing process in order to meet its 2030 target. So, what's your takeaway from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.